Hey guys, hey it's X736 here. Today I'll be doing, um, what's on MST? Ugh, go away. Obviously my computer's lagging. Um, no, uh, I'll be doing the deck profile on Noble Knights. Um, I'll be trying to get more, um, 2014 ban list uh, decks up in the next few days as is school holidays for, my, for me. Um, I'm sorry it's a bit late. I mean, it's like already... Three days into the format, I should have done this like ages ago. But, you know, I guess I've done it and yeah. Uh, so, if the thing would change, why isn't it changing? Okay, there we go. Um, first up, we've played one Normal Knight Autorigus. Um, we're not playing the Rabbit version of this deck because I think this deck has gone past it where that stage of its evolution as a deck. Those are big words. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, you don't need to play the rapid version because it's. You don't need to bring out this guy as much now. And let's be honest, there are gonna be times where you're gonna draw a rescue rabbit and like two normal monsters, which is absolutely like the worst thing that can happen to you. So one is enough, and it's a really good normal monster 1800 attack and 800 defense, and a awesome poem like effect. No, I'm only joking, it's a normal monster, it doesn't have an effect. Next up we play two, Guinefer, Queen of Noble Arms. Uh, this really helped push the deck into a semi-competitive deck because it is treated as a Noble Arms spell and once you get those, those Medrats and Boars you can start going through your combos and eventually get to your Wombo combo. Next up we play one, Honest, because it's Honest. Um, your, basically your whole deck is light except for Summoner Monk, the, the tech Summoner Monk. Um, yeah, and that this card uh, steals games. Uh, you just have to ask my friend about that because uh, we went to a regional re recently, <laughs> and he lost like so many games to his. <laughs> so yeah, it's a great card. Um, no light boards, three of them because you need it. It again helps your combos off because it will dump noble arms equipped scope. Uh, oh my god, I butchered that. Let me start over. It will. Dump uh, Noble Arms uh, equipped spell cards into your graveyard and add them to your hand. Say in case you have a Medrot in your hand and you want to summon it next turn. Um, so yeah, it's good. You need three, and it, again, it is one. It was another one of those cards that helped it jump that competitive uh, level. And yeah, and it's also it's a super rare, which makes it pretty good. Uh, as most of the cards in this deck are like secret rare, and that's like as you can see. They're like high at cost, uh, like 23, which is basically ridiculous for a card, I think. Um, next up, play one Noble Knight Dryston. Uh, I'm really thinking about taking this card out, but it's just good for those situations where you just need to get around uh, that one monster, one or two monsters, and you can't pull off your combo. So yeah, you play one, but if you want to, you could drop it, but it's recommended, you, I reckon you should play just one. Not two is too much. Next up we play two Normal Knight Gwen just uh, for easy XYZs. Um, sorry, excuse me. Uh, yeah, for easy XYZs, so basically when you control a light normal monster, so basically Boars, Medrat, and I can't remember, I'm going to pronounce the name, Gwal Chavad. Yeah, that. <laughs> are all treated as normal monsters when they are not equipped with normal arms. So you can just go Normal Summon, Boars. Special summon, uh, equip, uh, oh, not equip, and then go into your XDs. So, yeah, simple as that. And you play two because three, you don't want three all the time in your hand because you want to go into other plays. Uh, next up, we play the one. Yeah, you guys can see the screen. I'm not going to read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I butchered the last pronunci pronunciation. Um, so, yeah, he's just good for general uh, recyclability in um, late game situations. And that's basically all. There, there, why is there? You could play, um, you could play zero of him, but you know, again, it'd be recommended that you play one of him if you want to be really competitive because you you can get into a grind game with this deck because it's not that consistent. Uh, next up, we play a triple Medrat. Like I said before, this deck is insanely priced. Just look at those pri prices: thirty-nine for a low card, and I think it's pretty. Annoying, so I really like this archetype. Um, this is the key card of the deck, and um, you need it. 
this is this starts your wombo combo. So basically, you normal summon him, hope nothing happens. Um, that leads me another, to another point. I probably should play lands in this deck, but I couldn't find the room. I'm playing triple typhoon, so yeah. So basically, you normal summon him. You equip a, sp a quell spell card. Um, you spe make him special summon boars. Then you equip another spell card to him. Dump. Um, then you equip another spell card to. Um, so you'll have white boars with equipped, and then you'll have a Mender up with equipped. Then you can go into um, uh, this guy, Sacred Noble Knight of the King Autorius, uh, and then you equip all those spell cards that you sent from your graveyard and your hand. And basically, you, you at that point you win because it's like your opponent would have to either crash with Dark Hole, uh, crash, then go Dark Hole, because one on one is not an option. Big guy is not an option, or you can go, or they can go Dark Hole, Excite on Night. Yeah. Okay, so three Medrod is necessary. Next up, we play one Summon Monk because sometimes you just get these really awkward hands where you just have all equip spell cards in your hand and like zero monsters. So one Summon Monk is good because um, you can go Summon Monk, discard a card, or a spell card, special summon any level 4 monster. Preferably this, I guess. Um, then you can go um, into a Laval chain to make your top deck a Medrod, and then since you've got all of the equipped spell cards in your hand, normal summon him and then go for your combo. Let's play one Blue Moon, staple, one Dark Hole, staple, one Foolish Burial to get your Gwenifer in your grave, three Kaiser Colosseum. Now, this was a thing that I kind of stole off the Bujin player. I can't remember his name, but when you get. Um, this guy that can't be targeted or once per turn can't be destroyed with like, you know, 27 or 37 attack with a Kaiser Colosseum, it's pretty pretty much scoop up time for them. <laughs> because it's, I think that's impossible to get around. I mean, you would have to waste so much hand advantage or your, of your hand just to get around that one monster and when he dies, basically, it brings out another monster which you, at that time you're just gonna like, you know, lose. Again. So three is necessary, I reckon. Um, one mystical space. Uh, th no, sorry, not one. Three mystical space typhoons. So, so to make sure your you summons go off and nothing interrupt your plays and combos. Um, one now for the equip spell cards, the noble arms. One Afroda, um to get rid of um, again back row. So basically, you can go Medrat if nothing happened. Uh, Afroda, get rid of back row. And then, because you don't really care what your attack is, because you're going to go exes into him. So yeah, just to get rid of back row. Next up, we have to play two Calburn. I prefer I prefer this to um, Galatine because if your opponent does stall out, it's going he's going to be making it worse for himself because you're just going to be adding 500 life points and 500 life points each turn. So that <laughs> can get pretty annoying for your opponent. Again, leads more to scoop up situations for your opponent, and it gives you 500. Whereas Galatine, it gains a thousand, but you know. If as I said, as I said, as I said, if your opponent's stalling, you're gonna get lose more than your monster, and, and it doesn't stop at your original attack, so it's pretty crappy. Next up, one of the boss no arms, Excalibur. So basically, whenever you equip it to a no a no knight monster, it can't be targeted. And that's pretty good. So it says no to one one, no to big eye, no to dimensional prism, no to anything that targets. But it doesn't say no to Kumarose Queen Tiramisu, and this is good. that's a major problem for this deck. Uh, one Galatine, as I said, I don't think it's as good as Calburn, but it's just there to make it a beat stick. And also, you can equip it to a. It's funny thing, you can make it equip it to an Excalibur to make it 5,000. <laughs> or you can uh, Blade Armor Ninja for a 3,200 monster that can attack twice. That's pretty good. Two. Uh, next up, we have two Destiny. So basically, it goes combo with uh, Excalibur, so Excalibur can't target. This time it can't uh, destroy once per turn uh, by battle or card effect. So basically, it says no to Drago Sack. Um, says no to anything that destroys. So yeah, it's good. Then we play one reinforcement on the army. I don't need to explain this since it is an all warrior deck. So yeah, one warrior to his life. I take one of these because sometimes you can dump a. If you have enough equipped spell cards in your hand and you have thing, you can uh, dump a Medrat and then go. Warrior returning to life, so that's a pretty good, neat way of getting um, Medrat to your hand without using reinforcement of the armor, I think. Next up, we play Triple Upstart Goblin for um, 
consistency as his deck does suffer a lot from consistency issues because once it gets the combo out, you basically won. But uh, it's hard to get the combo out because they haven't they're not put they haven't put reinforcement of the army of to two for I don't know what reason since they're trying obviously trying to push his deck and they haven't made a you know a monster that a stratos for, a stratos monster for this deck so yeah. You need triple upstart to increase a lot of consistency. Next up, we play a triple royal decree. Again, you don't want your traps getting into the way, and traps are a major part of getting rid of monsters. So yeah, and also it um, stops sideboard sideboarded cards as well. So like you know DNA surgery and that. So yeah, why side it when you can main it and work into your favor? Yeah. Um, now for the extra deck, we play one dweller, dark worlds, mermails, anything that activates in the grave. Two. Artorigus, King of the Noble Knights, uh, I generally don't go into him, but he's there, because he's obviously one of your boss monsters. Uh, so basically what he does, uh, he's just like, you when you he's summoned, you target up to three equipped spell cards equipped to him, so he can become invincible, basically invincible, and you destroy up spell cards and trap cards after the amount of Noble Knights cards you control, so that's a pretty neat effect. Um... Next up, we have one Blade Armor Ninja. It's a warrior deck. You have to play Blade Armor Ninja. Two Diamond Dyer. Just get rid of problematic cards. In case you don't like uh, sideboard cards, such as, I don't know. Uh, you can also go into him from Summon the Monk. Uh, such as the... Yeah. So it's good. One Exciter Knight. Just in case that grind game. And you need that. And your opponent's at advantage. Like I said before, I don't really like this card. I think this card is busted. Just like JD. But yeah. He's good. One Cowboy for game. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. He's warrior. <laughs> uh, one Excalibur, warrior. One chain just to make you top that that um, Madrat or send your Gwyneth to your grave. <clears throat> Sorry guys. One number 101, staple basically now. Uh, two Sacred Knight, Noble Knight of King or Targus. This is basically your main boss monster that you want to go into and make him invincible. So yeah. And I played two Stylish Paladino because this card is awesome and I don't always like wasting my one on one till late game when it really counts, and this the uh, stylish it gives it gives you a plus when it it dies, unless it gets like you know dimensional prism or something. But yeah, uh, so that was the noble knight deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please remember to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Hades X736, and I gotta go. See you guys.